Hey everyone, we are back with another tour right here of a modular masterpiece. Let me give you a quick look. Look at all these beautiful houses. I've been trying to show them when I do it, uh, the exterior shot just so you can see. And then there's a whole nother side over there of some other models. This is Homes by Vanderbilt. They sell 100% uh, modular homes. Uh, and this one right here actually has an attached garage just for show. Um, these homes, so briefly, I'll tell you more at the end, but briefly, what you do is you kind of pick out a model, a floor plan that you like, and then you can kind of customize that even more to your likings. Like this show model here has a 912 roof pitch, uh, but you could get it as small as like a 512 uh, with no kind of like storage upstairs, or you could, you know, go as big as a 1212, all that stuff, uh, all those options, you know, you have. And we're going to be very brief on the exterior, but I do want to give you just one look over here. Try to get some good drone shots. But I figure it's going to be kind of hard to do with these trees. So I may, I may need to walk back here. Y'all having a great day? I, I sure hope so. Uh, I don't tell y'all near enough in these tours. But that's a huge, huge reason why I do what I, why I do what I do is I just... I want to show you a good time. I want you to be able to come here, watch these home tours. Maybe maybe you got aspirations to have something like this on down the road. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, but, you know, maybe you've had a rough day at work. You just want to relax, chill out. I hope I can help you do that. Okay, about missed it. Door right there. Let's head back around. We're going to make our way in. So this is my second time to come here. It's been pretty amazing because... Uh, they've told me they've had a lot of people come here from the videos and that's That's awesome. Thank y'all for for coming and checking out these houses if you're over this area Now y'all keep in mind that they're only going to cover a specific area and I'll talk more about that at the end as well But if you do come see them y'all tell them you watch the videos All right We've got us a nice porch, nothing too crazy right here. This floor plan though may be a little crazy. <laughs> hey, would you drop a like on the video? That'll help us a lot. And then don't forget to subscribe to the notification bell and put my sun, sunny shades up here. Let's go. As you walk in this one once you walk in you just know it's about to be crazy because i mean look at what you see right when you walk in we've got this nice big area to make sure you kind of i can show that to you really well nice big space sometimes i i like a good foyer but sometimes i walk in it's like wham it's like right there it's not the case here Okay, and then this is the shot we've been waiting on. All right, that's enough of that. Hey, we're gonna get in there. Oh, yeah. So I did tour this house last time when I came. It's been almost three years ago, though. So uh, I thought it'd be a great time to get it again, give you some updated information. Plus, I didn't have my drone last time, so I'll try to, I'm gonna try to get a lot of good exterior shots for y'all, so you can see a lot more that we wasn't able to see last time we toured it. Huge fan of these windows we have on each side of the entertainment center cabinets down there nice nice tops right here and this is some ship lap as you could tell plug there what if i come right here did a little spin mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah let's go ahead and make our way on into this kitchen more of the ship lap there i want to make sure i show you that Electrical outlet there. Need to plug your phone up. Whew. 
look. I'm trying to remember. I feel like there's something um, about this kitchen that really surprised me last time. I was thinking it was a hidden pantry, but that's not, not the case. Maybe it's just the pantry's really big. But when I first walked in here, I seen all these cabinets, and I was like, has this thing got a hidden pantry? But no. All right, anyway, sorry about all the twisting. Here we have this. Nice, it'll be a great for a coffee station, coffee bar, whatever you like to call it. Uh, we got Whirlpool appliances. This is a great looking refrigerator, built in microwave. All right, what can I start you off with? Two eggs. How you like your eggs? Doesn't matter, you're gonna get them the way I cook them. How do you like, doesn't matter. <laughs> Y'all know I'm joking all the time. I'm great to the kids now. No, you gotta be rough on them kids. That's wrong, with, that's what's wrong with kids these days. <laughs> Ooh, look at this. I had never seen that. Usually this will just go all the way to the top of your ceiling. A little bit of a different look right there. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, they had the door open. I'm just gonna leave it, y'all. Y'all know what's coming a house like this. I mean, I ain't gotta I ain't gotta work around it. But you don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go right, or I'm gonna, actually, I'm gonna go over here. No! <laughs> yes, ladies and gentlemen, we have us a pantry worth dancing to. And yeah, maybe that's what it was, because maybe when, last time I tore it, the door was shut and I didn't know how big it was gonna be. I don't remember. I just remember being really surprised about something. I guess that's what it was. Now we're gonna ease over here. Even more shiplap, cabinets and drawers. Ooh. All right, we've already been around there. Let's go back this way. I noticed the office down here. One of the things I do remember about this house is this was the first one I toured when I got here last time. And and if y'all remember, if y'all if y'all OGs and y'all been with me that long, uh, this trip to Sanford was my first time to ever take a flight. And I was telling y'all all about it in this tour. I remember that. Um, Boy, 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 I was a nervous wreck, and I still ain't that great at it, to be honest. I, th I think, actually, on this trip to Charlotte, I experienced uh, some of the worst turbulence, and it didn't last but, like, five seconds, and it wasn't nothing crazy to most of y'all. Y'all probably, like, it was nothing, but I just never really dealt with a lot of turbulence. Man, we hit some turbulence on the way here. Ooh, son, I thought, well, we gave him a heck of a ride. <laughs> That's what I start thinking every time something is... I'm just like, well, it was fun, baby. <laughs> Man, any of y'all like that? Man, I just, I don't know if I'll ever really get that comfortable with flying. All right, into this room. Ooh, looks like we got nine foot ceilings. Mm-hmm. And here is a bath. So, yeah, when I told y'all then, like, this was one of the coolest places that I had ever come to in 2020. And so now it's almost three years later, and I can still tell you, this is one of the coolest places that I've ever been to. I've been to a lot of great places. I don't want to take away from that because... I'm not gonna say it's my favorite because there's aspects of other places that I maybe like more than this. Uh, oh, no. 
Everybody's okay. Don't worry. Everybody's fine. Whew, that was wild. But, uh, yeah, anyways, it probably, it's probably what, the reason why that happened is because they're probably like, all right, dude, stop rambling. But I'll finish up by just saying, even after all those years, this place is awesome. I want to encourage you to come this way if you're over this direction. So let's see. We've, I get, yeah, we've looked at everything down here. The only thing left we have to is go down here. We do have the utility room to the left. Um, and then that's where that garage is at. Now the garage is for show. And so I don't even know if the door's probably locked, but we'll check. And then, oh, here's our upstairs. We'll finish up there. Spot for the washer and dryer. Is this, is this a storage area? Oh, water heater. Knew it had to be one of the two. Look, we got us a cabinet there. More cabinets over here. Look, you add this and then the cabinets in the kitchen. This house is jam packed, loaded, filled, complete with the cabinets. Let's see what we got. I, I think it's, yeah. I think I remember last time it being locked. It's probably just storage and stuff in there. But all of our space in here, you would you got plenty of room if you wanted to have you. Mm, I really don't know what, what else you would have in here, but you could do a lot of different stuff. Let's look at the main bedroom, then we'll come back and go up the stairs. Here's the main bedroom. Looks like we got us a closet. We'll go over here. I do want to do want to point out we have windows on each side of our bed. Mm-hmm. Let's see if somebody can help me out. I, I've been trying to figure out what, I seen it like in that closet, that coat closet at the front, y'all remember? I'm trying to figure out what, like what, what is the purpose for that? Y'all know, I mean, I'm sure there's a reason. I just don't really know. I know it's hard to believe, but I don't know everything. All right, into the bathroom. Ooh, I remember seeing these in another house. Seeing this set up. I tell you one thing I'm really excited about is putting these. Uh, if y'all follow me on TikTok and Instagram, I do little short versions of the of the tours. I'm eager to put some of these on there. I figure they, y'all, them people gonna lose it when they see these homes. Now, how am I gonna concise this whole house tour down into a minute? That's gonna be something to figure out, but I feel like some of them are gonna do really well. All right, into the shower. You know what, I seen a shower earlier. It was pretty much the same color, but it had like the white grout. I liked it better, just to be honest with you. But you can customize all that. Plus I seen some white tile. There's so many options when it comes to all of that. Uh, but yeah, I like that white grout in this. It just really makes this tile pop. That's just my personal preference. Let's see if we back up this way. All right, now I'm gonna take you up the stairs and just give you a look. Now this is not finished out or anything, but it could be. It could be set up, uh, what else? Could, oh, wrong light. What else could we do? We could do it to where you have your plumbing done up here, but that's it. To where if you wanted to come back and finish it out, you could. It's a little dark, a little spooky up here. Hello? <laughs> That's because uh, maybe should have turned on the lights. Okay. I just want to really come up here to show you. All right, so we're going to get into more information. Y'all, please share this video. I'm hoping you're doing that with these tours. Don't forget to drop a like and subscribe. You know, as I said here, and I just got through editing the video, 
I was looking at the floor plan. I'll pop it back up for you here again. It's just an amazing layout. I mean, I love touring stuff like this that you just don't see every day, and that's exactly what this is. Um, but I'm, I'm not going to get carried away and spend, spend all sorts of time right here. I just want to say we'll have information in the description. Um, the main thing, I, all right, we'll have some links in there. The main thing that I want to show you is their building area, Homes by Vanderbilt. Now, that doesn't mean you can't get this manufacturer in another area, but this is the area they service. And so, pop that up for you. I've showed it in every video that I've done from there uh, on this trip. But yeah, you can show you, you can read all that and it can really help you understand. This is a home manufactured by RL. Also, I want to tell you the videos come out Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday night. And Saturday night's video, um, well, if you watched the last video, you did watch the last video from Tuesday night, right? You would. <laughs> you should you should it's a popular house but anyways i was telling y'all on there what i've got coming out saturday night it's an amazing amazing home it's 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 a it's just like this one it's a, actually a single section but it's just like this it's just crazy and i don't get carried away i said i'm not gonna do it you gotta be here 6 45 central saturday night okay let's get into some pricing and, and the i decided just to on these tours that i did on this trip here i just want to provide what they have on their website you can go see this on their website if you want to now obviously it depends on all the options and this price is basically as a 512 roof pitch the one we toured there was not a 512 okay so i'll so already you're going to be at a little bit higher price point. But it all depends on all the different options, the location, so many factors. But this is what they have there on their website that help you out. And if you want further information from them, you can contact them if you're in their area. But anyways, right here, I'm going to pop it up. There you go. Look at that. She's a beauty. Hey, I know I've already said it, but share, 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 please. I'm going to head out. I'll see you right back here for Saturday night's video. Hey, it's okay if you didn't make Tuesday. But if you don't make Saturdays, we're done. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I will see y'all. Hope you have a great one. See you soon.